Hey, this is Robert from Virtual Set Lab, and today I'm going to show you how to use one of our latest virtual sets in Adobe Premiere Pro 2022. Um, so currently you can see kind of how this virtual set is laying in here in this production. We've got our presenter on a green screen. Um, we've got our virtual set in the background. Um, we've got a social media lower third popping into the scene, and then our monitor comes down and we have some B-roll footage in the monitor area. So I'm gonna show you some of the best techniques to make this work in your workflow. So there's a bunch of different ways of doing this, uh, but this is one of the ways that we found um, is the most efficient way to set up your scene and get going with this edit. So let's uh, first start off by making a new composition um, or sequence, if that's what they call it in Premiere Pro. Um, I'm just gonna use the size of our virtual set, which is this render blank. Um, with the virtual sets, uh, all of them come with different monitor area setups in, that are pre-rendered, and then it also comes with a blank version, um, and as well as the social media. And so I've actually imported the Premiere social media uh, project template into our main project. And so I'll show you how we can you know, import um, the social media lower thirds into the overall edit. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this render blank.mp4, drag it down to the new sequence button, let go, and now we have our virtual set in the background there. Um, this is the blank version, so um, even though it's only rendered to about mm, 30 seconds or so, you can add a frame hold on this, this one because there's no animated monitors and you can extend the length and duration of this as long as you need to. Um, and then one question we get a lot is if you're using the animated monitor setups, you know, how do you get those to extend to the, you know, um, the length of your presentation? And I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. Um, so the next thing we're gonna do is bring down our green screen footage onto the timeline. I'm not gonna worry about audio there. Uh, we're going to add a key effect to this to uh, remove the green screen and we're going to use the ultra key so that's in your effects panel just do a search for keying and ultra key will pop up drag it down onto your footage and then go to effects controls use the eyedropper tool select some of the green in your scene and then for this particular one i'm just going to do an aggressive key which should key yeah you know relatively good on this edit here and so now we have our talent on the green screen in our virtual set. Um, so the next thing I'm gonna do is add the social media lower third. So I'm gonna go into our social media animations and go to the sequences. And I'm just gonna drag the YouTube sequence down onto our timeline, get rid of the audio, scale it up just a little bit and reposition it where I want it to go just like so. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in one of the animated monitors. And so I'm gonna do the left animated monitor. So I'm gonna drag that down onto the timeline, right about there. And so you can see that we go, we've got our blank virtual set, and then it goes right into our virtual set with the left monitor. And then it stays down for a little bit, and then it will come back up on its own. So what I'm gonna do is before, um, well actually I'm gonna do this first, I'm gonna um, knock out the green in this monitor area. So I'll do that with just using an ultra key effect again. And you can either eyedropper it, eye, eye it or you can just select and max out the green, which is 255. And that will knock the monitor area and which will uh, allow us to see through to the bottom layer. Um, so I'm going to select all of these layers, hold down the Alt key, and use the Up key on your keyboard to move everything up one layer. And then this bottom layer is going to be our footage, our B-roll footage. So I'm going to drag our B-roll footage down into the scene, and you can see it's playing right there. Um, now one thing I like to do is when I'm doing B-roll footage, because you never know if you're going to have like multiple pieces of B-roll footage, and um, you want to edit those together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just nest this into a, its own sequence called B-roll. 
And then that way, if I ever wanna go in and change the B-roll that shows up in this monitor area right here, um, I can just go into this B-roll footage. Everything is, um, you know, full HD or 4K. And I can, you know, add transitions. I can um, add new pieces of footage to it and they will all show up um, in this area right here. Um, but what will also happen is when I scale this, I'm gonna scale it down a little bit. Move it into position here. Um, now the any footage that we throw in this folder into this timeline is automatically going to be scaled positioned where it needs to go Right there um, Also get a lot of questions sometimes with uh, with this particular set where when the animated monitor comes down You want to kind of have the footage um, fade in as it when it comes down and uh, and so you'll the way you'll do that is uh, I usually just leave it dark or blank until the monitor comes almost all the way down. And then I'm gonna add a fade or dissolve on the B-roll footage. And so as the monitor comes down, it's black, and then it fades up as it comes to a rest, just like that. All right, um, I don't really like the way the presenter is uh, covering up too much of the monitor. So I'm just gonna adjust her a little bit, move her over just to here. You can see there's a little bit of green screen left in our uh, footage there. Um, it happens a lot of times on the edge, just depending on what camera you're using. And so I'm just gonna add a quick um, mask to this footage so we can get rid of that. Like so. And so yeah, so now I like that a little better. We've got our lower third in there. Um, we've got our footage. Um, I'm gonna um, duplicate this footage over and over and over again on our B-roll timeline so I can make this footage a little bit longer here and then you'll see on this studio that it's going to go back up like that um, so if you wanted to uh, have your footage end right there then you would just basically fade out similar to the way we came in so we'll let it fade out and then the monitor goes back up but if you wanted to extend it even further, then here's the way I would do that in Premiere. Uh, basically select your virtual set with a left monitor MP4, uh, slice it right before the monitor goes up, right? And then move that down the timeline. And then here, add a frame hold while the monitor is down. And now you can We got to duplicate our presenter down the footage there like that. And so now you can see that our, the time that our monitor is down is extended. And then when it gets to the end of this timeline, it goes back up. Let's fade out first. It goes back up and then we'll go back to the blank virtual set which you can add a frame hold and extend for however long you want it to be. Um, you could also, uh, you know, bring in a secondary monitor, you know, on the right. So maybe it goes down, goes back up on the left. And then it immediately comes down on the right. So a lot of different options there. For what you're doing. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys like the new virtual set and let us know if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye.